Hello and welcome to this week's Herbal Spotlight. I'm your herbalist, Elle, with Wild and Rooted Organics. And this week I am bringing you a plant you probably have heard of. Not only probably have you heard of it, you might even have some in your cabinet right now. The plant I am talking about is chamomile. Chamomile has a huge variety of uses and what makes this a fun plant to work with is that it is safe for everyone. It is safe for babies, children, nursing moms, pregnant women, elderly, and overstressed adults. So the plant is also easy to grow. I planted a very small box um, that was probably, I don't know, 24 by 12 inches at one point, and this is now in an 8 by 10 box because it literally reseeds itself and grows extremely easily. Um, on a gardener's note also, the really neat thing about chamomile is if you have a sick plant, you can actually plant chamomile nearby and it'll actually help um, bring up the health of that other plant. It's also a natural pest deterrent in the garden, and I swear every time I do this, it's just gale force winds. history. Chamomile is actually one of the most ancient medicinal herbs out there. Chamomile, we have texts all the way dating back over 6,000 years of uses. So chamomile was used in ancient Greece, it was used in ancient Egypt, it was used in Rome, it was used by the Mayans and the Native Americans, Germans, pretty much across many many cultures and many different ages this plant has been used. This plant is very easy to identify. It is in the daisy family, so it looks generally like a daisy. Sorry. So, like I said, it does look like a daisy. It has white petals that have deep grooves that run from the tip to the base. The head sits above the petals. The stems are smooth and have a latex-like feel, and the uh, spider. Um, the uh, leaves are also fern-like. So let's get into it. Uh, this plant actually has a really cool fact that goes along with it. Um, it was used a lot out west in the old west because gamblers washed their hands on it with it because it brought fortune and good luck and I do actually love to gamble so if you are somebody that wants to try this let me know how it goes. Um, so chamomile. If you do not have access to chamomile or don't feel like growing it or don't feel like going to the store and making yourself a cup of tea, I do have a link in my bio to my store which has a small batch crafted chamomile extract. Um, the really cool thing about extract is extract only takes a couple of drops compared to making a whole cup of tea. Um, it is grown organically with no pesticides or fertilizers. It's just God given earth and a lot of love and tender care from a herbalist like me. Um, so check out the link in my bio if you are interested in working with this plant. So let's get into the uses of this. I still have a spider somewhere on me. It's, it's okay. I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, so the use is probably the most known use is for nerves. So everybody kind of uses this plant to help fall asleep because it is a mild sedative. Um, it is safe to use with children that are having a hard time falling asleep and a really cool way to incorporate that with children is to actually brew a tea and make it into a popsicle. That's a tip for right there. Um, so um, chamomile really helps to kind of take the edge off. It doesn't actually knock you out, but it really does help kind of settle you in for the night. Um, it's also great for those that have had a really stressful day and are having trouble letting go of that stress of that day. It's good for people that have anxiety or people that are dealing with insomniatic tendencies. It is also really good for people that are experiencing nightmares, children included. It really helps not only relax yourself, but it really helps relax that subconscious. So it kind of relieves the nightmare quality, which I find really, really awesome because children that have nightmares, it's really hard to deal with. So welcome chamomile. Um, yeah. So it is good for the nerves and safe for children. So that's a plus. Now two, chamomile is wonderful for all parts of digestion. So chamomile is a little more of a bitter plant, even though it does have an apple kind of smell to it, it is a bitter plant. Um, so that means it's bitter and your liver are like best friends. Um, so it really helps like 
make your liver happy, happy liver, happy life. I've said it once, I'll say it 20 million times. Um, so it helps not only the liver produce bile, but it is also great for people that are experiencing heartburn or indigestion or GERD or diverticulitis or stomach aches or IBS, IBD, um, any basically stomach problem this is great for and a good way to also use that is like i said with the extract so you can actually have a couple drops of the extract before you eat and it actually helps prepare your body to digest better so it's also called a digestive bitter random facts um two let's get into the second part of this um or third yeah i'm on the third part women's health if you are a man i highly suggest plugging your ears unless you're not bothered by this. Um, so women's health is something that is severely lacking. So I think that in every video, I am going to try to put something in there for women's health because us girls deserve to stick together and we all have a healer within ourselves. And I think everybody should know that we have ways to work with plants and help heal ourselves. So chamomile is great in the second half of your cycle, especially if you are somebody that is dealing with hard or heavy periods or has um, really bad PMS or mood swings. It is great for um, cramps, painful periods. It is great for sore and tender breasts. It is great for all types of problems within a cycle. And it's also really great um, as the fact that it is an adaptogen. So it's helping your body not only deal with the stress, but recover from the stress at the same time. Um, if you are somebody that's experiencing a heavy flow, I do not recommend using this plant while you are menstruating because it can actually cause your flow to be a little bit heavier but if you are somebody with a light or normal flow go for it now we can unplug um but yes that's extremely important because women's health deserves us women to stick together and share our knowledge because that's what they used to do and that's what we should do um next thing skin so chamomile is great for the skin because it is a vulnerary which basically means that it can just heal. Um, so this is really great for if somebody's dealing with like road rash or some type of abrasion. Um, it's really good to make like a strong infusion and wash that wound out because it'll really help heal and it's an anti-inflammatory, which means it'll bring that swelling back down. Um, it's also great for if you are somebody that's experiencing redness or age spots or like rashes or anything like that. It's really, really good for because it's just soothing all together. This plant is a very across the boards, soothing plant for every system. Okay, next one. I'm just going as fast as I can because I don't want to run out of time. The lungs and the bronchial system. So this plant actually has an affinity for the mucous membranes. So if you are somebody that's experiencing like sinusitis or um, somebody that's experiencing allergies or just overall just has gunky sinuses. This is a plant to use. This plant is also wonderful with inflamed bronchial systems. So think of bronchitis, think of whooping cough, think of post pneumonia, um, think of a dry cough, think of a smoker's cough. This plant is great to use because it's very soothing to the mucous membranes. Winds. Um, but yes, it's a very great plant to use within that system and it's really great for like if somebody's dealing with a cough or a cold because it also really helps boost your immune system as well. Like I said, this is a plant that can really do it all. Um, in herbalism, when you become an herbalist, you really have to have a working knowledge of generally like 150 plants. I know this because I cram them into my brain every single day. But really, your practice and your herbalism comes from generally 10 to 15 plants. And this is definitely one of those plants because this plant can literally do it all. Um, it's not about how knowing every single plant out there. It's about knowing a plant that can really do 10 to 15 things. Um, that's really what herbalism is. It's being able to use what you have in your yard. Um, so, wind. Every single time. <laughs> so yes um from i'm running out of time but from my heart to yours i really do appreciate everybody that watches these videos um and if you guys have any questions whatsoever always feel free to drop me a comment or shoot me a message i am more than happy to nerd out plant wise with you um but yeah that's chamomile so happy planting